new auto adjustment options, enhancements to the Atmosphere AI tool, as well as new possibilities when it comes to exporting and improving the speed of the application. All of those are the new features and updates coming with the latest Luminar Neo update with the number 1.24. OK, so moving into Luminar Neo, where are we going to start with the updated Atmosphere AI tool? Now, as you probably know, this tool allows you to add a fog or mist effect to your images with only a few sliders. Now, this tool in the new version 1.24 should have the upgraded depth. And I think the easiest way to see this is to look at the version 1.23, the older version and the new version. So let's have a look at it. I am actually in the version 1.23.1. So that's one version before this update. I have this image from the forest and it's calling for adding a mist or fog to it. Well, you're going to do exactly that. We're going to move into the edit module. In the edit module, we're going to navigate into the landscape section. And here there is the atmosphere AI tool. Now let's do that. Let's start with the fog on our mode and let's start by increasing the amount. Once we do that, you can see that the fog start to be appearing from the top of the image. You can barely see it, but basically what you can do, you can adjust the depth and when you really push it, you can see how the fog start to appear more and more and covering the top and middle part of the photo. When you go all the way, you can see it pretty much covers everything except the real bottom of the image. If I switch the mode from fog into layered fog, you will see that that will pretty much create that kind of mist layered fog at the bottom right here. Again, if I bring it down, you can barely see it even with 100%. And as I start to add the depth, you can see how it starts to appear and it keeps moving towards the front of the scene. It's OK, but it's not really perfect, right? You can see that it looks very unnatural. It has the missing part here. So let's hope that we get a better result with the new version. Now, moving into the version 1.24, let's just double check. Yes, we can take the same image and move it into the edit module. In the edit module, again, we're going to go into the landscape tool where we're going to open the atmosphere AI. Just like in the previous example, we're going to keep the fog as our mode and we're going to take the amount slider and increase it to 100. Remember, on the last version, with 100 amount, you were almost not able to see the fog. However, now we can see it at the back of the image. And of course, we can adjust the depth. So let's bring it down, which almost remove it, but you can still see it a little bit at the back. After that, just like in the previous version, we can take the depth and start to increase it. And you can see how much better it is now, how it follows the depth of the image. Because when I go, let's say somewhere around 55, you can see how it fills the fog and avoids the tree. And only as I go further and further, eventually the fog also covers the tree here, the foreground element. I think that's amazing. I think the depth works really, really well here. Now, how does it work with the other modes? So let's switch into the layered fog, bring it down and again, have a look at the 100%. You can barely see it. And as we go with the depth, again, it follows the depth of the image. First, avoid the tree and the foreground, and then eventually gets all the way to the foreground. Let's just see the other examples. Mist would look like this, just think the depth. Again, you can back it up and avoid the tree and foreground. And with the haze, again, just a little bit more, starting more in the middle of the image, but works exactly the same as the other modes. So I think this is a big improvement on the depth and it definitely creates much more realistic results. From the Atmosphere AI to the highly requested auto adjustment feature. So how does it work? Well, we already have the image, so let's move it again into the edit module. Let's just reset it. So we're going to right click on it, adjustment, revert to original. And from here, we're going to navigate into the main editing toolbar and open the develop tool. Here on the top, we now have an option to auto adjust. It works same for develop and develop raw tool. And when you press on it, it takes few seconds to create the initial auto adjustment. At this moment, 
on this beta version it adjusts the light options, black and white options and also curve depending on your image. Now this is a good starting point if you need a little bit of inspiration on how to edit your image and furthermore it's a great tool that can be built into the presets. So how it's going to work? Well we have applied the auto adjustment and from here we can simply save it as preset. To do that, we're going to just click on the three dots at the bottom, click on save as preset, and then let's just call it auto adjustment. Once saved, we can go back to the catalog module and this time select the second image. From here again into the presets, into our newly created preset, which is just the auto adjustment, where we can now click on it and apply. Now when we go into the edit module and into our edits on the top, you can see that the auto adjustment being applied and it does have a different values than the previous image. This is a great tool and great new feature which will allow us to build special effects with the creative tools and landscape tools while keeping the development part specific to each photo. So for example, I create a preset where I'm gonna add the fog here. So let's go back into the edit module. I have already applied the automatic adjustment. Now I'm going to go into the tools. I'm going to go into the atmosphere AI, add the fog as you seen earlier. And from here, let's just save it again as a preset. So let's apply a lot of it, maybe somewhere around 60. Three dots, save as preset. This time we're going to call it auto adjustment with fog. Save it. Now back to the catalog module where we select the second image back to presets and this time rather than the auto adjustment we will pick the auto adjustment with four so let's click on that and just like that we now have an auto adjustment applied to the image as well as the four of course just like before we can still adjust the strength or we can go into the edit module into the edits where we can now adjust either the atmosphere ai if it's too strong or the develop tool itself. It works exactly the same for the develop tool as well as the developer tool and I highly suggest you to try it. Here also go one more reminder that this tool specifically is only available for Lumina Neo subscribers and upgrade pass owners. If you're wondering about how to get your upgrade pass now with a special spring offer you can get it for just $33. So if you want to find out more about it, just follow the link in the description of this video. Yes. Now, before we going to continue, I have even more news from Luminar Neo World. We have just released Lumicast, our brand new podcast focusing on Luminar Neo, photo editing and photography. Join me and Holly Linton as we talk about our favorite software every week on Friday on your favorite streaming platform. Moving on to the third update, which will be focusing on exporting. So we are still in Luminar Neo, we are on the same image and we are in the edit module. From here, we're going to navigate to the top right corner of our screen, where is the export button. When you click on it, now you have a whole list of new options. New export, which will open the exporting window. Export with previous, which will basically export the image with exactly the same settings you have used last time. After that, we also have some quick export options. We can export the image as JPEG with 100% quality, JPEG with 80% quality, TIFF with 16 bits and TIFF with 8 bits. This is really cool and a new way to speed up the exporting process. Now let's go back to our new export. Click on that and let's open the exporting window. From here, you can navigate just like before to any location you want. You can still change the name of the file, add the tags, but more importantly, there are some new updates in the exporting options. I know in past, many times people ask me for the possibility to export in a DNG format. And you will be happy to know that you can do that now with the latest version 1.24. What you need to do? One, well, you need to change the format simply into the DNG. Now with the DNG format or the digital negative format, there is no other options as it will take the full file and export it in the highest quality. So after this, you just click on save. 
but back to the other options, for example, the JPEG, you still can adjust the size, you can adjust the sharpening, you can adjust the color space, you can adjust the resolution and of course quality. And if you're working with formats that do support transparency, you can also click on save transparency and export the image without the background or with transparent areas. After that, the task is still the same. You just click on save and it will save the image or export it exactly in a format you have set. And finally, the fourth update will be focusing on enhancing or improving the app performance. How it's going to be done? Well, by the possibility of clearing your cache, the data that was created by the application and its catalog. How is it done? Well, navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on the Lumina Neo logo. Here, select settings. And here on the top, you will see a catalog options where there should be catalog cache size and next to it option called clear cache. All you need to do here is to just click on the button. It will ask you if you really want to clear the cache. You just click on it, apply it. And just like that, you will save lots of space, but more importantly, improve the speed of editing and speed of the application. Now talking about the updates, let's talk about the Luminar Neo Spring Sale. If you are a new user, or changing from lifetime into the subscriber, you can enjoy up to 75% discount until the 28th of April. Now buying it, you can choose between lifetime license when you own the application and subscription. If you get the one year subscription, you will on the top of the application also get a bonus of 100 creative add-ons, overlays, presets, LUTs, and you will also get free Luminar Neo video course which by the way, is worth it $79. How much is it gonna cost you? Well, $69, but that's not all. If you're going to use the link in the description of this video and use the discount code CPNEO10, you will get an additional 10% discount. Now for the lifetime user, if you just prefer to pay once, you will get all the same software, add-ons, course, and all of that will cost you $119. And don't forget, Use the link, use the discount code CPNEO10 and get it even cheaper. If you are existing user, you can use the upgrade pass. If you are existing and lifetime user, you can use the upgrade pass to upgrade your application and get all the new features for just $33. Regardless who you are, just follow the link in the description of this video and find out the best possible offer.